Hey guys, uh, it's me again. I have a small message again today. Today I'm in Hosea and it's chapter 8 and verse 11 really stood out. Israel has built many altars to take away sin, but these very altars become places, became places for sinning. So obviously God is speaking to Israel. This is all about him judging Israel. Um, so still that theme. Uh, and yet this is applicable. So because here, instead of Israel, we could insert anything, our own name, like anything, our nation, whatever. Um, we build altars to take away our own sin. And how do we do this? We obviously don't build literal altars, although in some religions, obviously, they do that as well. And then it's literally the same thing as here. But... Um, you know, what are the things that people do uh, that makes them think they can gain or earn their way into heaven? Um, they think they're good people. They think they do good deeds. Uh, in Catholicism, you confess to a guy in a box um, or praying specific prayers to some kind of saints, um, lighting candles, do good works. Um, all these different things. But what the Bible says here is these very altars became places for sinning. So all the solutions that we come up with, uh, our own attempts just make things worse. We are just adding to the problem. We are just adding to the sin. So that doesn't quite work. <laughs> um, ultimately, all our own attempts to get right with God, to get into heaven, um, are born out of and built on pride because we think we can do it. It's this selfish view that I can do it. I can make myself right with God. I, as a sinner, can make myself right with a holy God. Do you see the pride in that? It's nothing but pride. So therefore, that in itself is sinful. And um, the Bible is very clear that these things will never save us. And the Bible is also very clear on what does save us. Because ultimately all human acts are just humans doing their own thing in their pride. But you can't, you know, think about, for example, the UK and you have the king there at the moment. You can't just come up to the castle and say... Hey, um, I paid my taxes and so I'm going to visit you now. It doesn't work like that. You can't just go there. You need to be invited. So you, 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 know, you have to do things the king's way. And it's the same with the Bible. We can't do things our way thinking he, the king is happy with that. No, if we want to be saved, we need to do it God's way, the way he prescribed for us in the scripture. And that is a humble thing to do. It's acknowledging I cannot do it myself. I cannot do it myself. But the solution is not that difficult. It's not that the Bible is clear. It's in Christ alone. Solus Christus. He came to this earth. He lived on this earth. He suffered for us. He died for us. And he rose again. And the only thing we need to do is to embrace that. To believe in him. To trust in him. Ask for his, forgi for his forgiveness. And that's it. It's so simple. But in our pride, we think we can do better. So I hope, I hope that this is kind of an eye opener. Um, that you realize that you cannot do it by yourself. Actually takes a lot of pressure off that you don't have to do it by yourself. Because frankly, we cannot trust ourselves because... I mean, I'm sure, like, if you look at the Ten Commandments, like, have you ever lied to someone or um, even had bad thoughts about someone because that's equal to actually murdering someone? Um, so we, we, we can't do it by ourselves we, and we can't make up for it. The debt is there, you know. Um, you know, if you go and murder someone, um, but then the next day you, you donate money to a charity, the judge will say, well, yeah, it's great you donated money to the charity, but that doesn't take away the fact that you murdered someone. So if we think we can 
kind of earn brownie points or make up for things that we messed up. That's just an illusion. It's just pride. It's just, it's just hopeless. So I hope um, by understanding that it's about Christ, coming to Christ, um, that your heart is touched and that you come to Christ maybe for the first time in your life. And if you're a Christian and you might have still gone off um, and tried to kind of self-atone, let us be a reminder that Christ is enough. It's in Christ alone. So with this, I wish you a blessed day and I hope to see you again soon. Please um, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share. You can really help me out. See you again soon. Bye.